You see this beautiful yellow flower? It's actually a very medicinal herb. It's one of my favorite herbs ever, and it's called goldenrod. Goldenrod is amazing for cracked heels, the uh, skin disorders of diabetics, you know, how you get those sores on your feet split open because you don't feel... Um, you don't feel your feet because diabetic neuropathy, that's what I suffer with. But I came across this online about the goldenrod plant. And uh, as soon as I get to walking better and I get gas in the car, I'm going to go around and gather a bunch of goldenrod. It's another salve. That I make, you mix it with beeswax, beeswax, a uh, bee and honey. Oh, I hate foggy fog from chemo and mini strokes. Honey is a natural antiseptic, antibacterial, antifungal. It'll make your skin grow quickly. Um, I mix that, the beeswax, in with the goldenrod, and I make a a, not a really hard salve, but a medium kind, not real runny, just so-so. And you rub it on your feet at night, smooth it on, just like Vaseline. Put you a pair of socks on and go to sleep. And when you get up the next morning, your feet will be beautiful, shiny, and smooth. It takes probably two or three weeks to heal your feet up really good. And uh, it doesn't cause any, I have bad allergies, it doesn't bother my allergies whatsoever. See, anyone can be allergic to anything, but the goldenrod is not the culprit of seasonal allergies. This time of year in the autumn, it is ragweed, that's the culprit. But yes, yeah, some of you are allergic to goldenrod, just like some are allergic to poison ivy. But anyway, there's a little herbal video for you, and for extra, there's bugs feeding on it. <laughs> it's also food for insects, and butterflies love, love it to get the pollen. Peace and love, everyone. Bye. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I make goldenrod oil picked my goldenrod and then you cover it with your oil I put it in two stock pots to act as a double boiler get your water hot and then put this in here cover it with your oil <clears throat> Put it on low, kind of low to medium heat <clears throat> for about an hour. And then let it stretch, uh, cool for a few hours and then strain it and bottle it. And 10 ounces of oil to 2 ounces of beeswax will make your salve. This is good for cracked heels. You know how you get that horrible, yucky skin on the bottom of your feet all cracked open? It's good for even diabetics. As long as you're not allergic to goldenrod, which I'm not. And I am a diabetic and I do use it. <clears throat> and I also use this on my chemo sores that I get. It's also good for sore muscles. So you rub the salve, or the oil itself, on your feet. Put you on a little thin pair of socks at night and sleep with it on and get up the next morning take your socks off your feet soft do this several days several nights in a row when you sleep and those cracked heels will just disappear and it's safe peace and love everyone bye okay okay i'm gonna try to do this with one hand can't really see it i don't have good lighting in here but
Mm, it smells so good. This is goldenrod herbal oil. I'm right-handed, and of course I get electrocuted with my right hand. Uh, okay. This is goldenrod. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to let it sit here and, and drain. But, you know how you get really ugly, horrible-looking feet, and you don't want to show them to anyone? They get calluses and cracks. Uh, diabetics get the diabetic sores. Well, I, I'm a diabetic also, and I have diabetic neuropathy. So, I use this oil. I mix it with beeswax and make a salve out of it. And what you do is you put it on your feet and slip on some socks and sleep in it. You get up the next day, your feet's really shiny and smooth. Now, if you have really horrible looking feet, it'll take probably about two to three weeks of doing this every night, which is really easy to do. It just rubs on kind of like Vaseline. And I have seasonal allergies, and goldenrod does not bother me because goldenrod is not the culprit of seasonal allergies ragweed that is blooming at the same time that goldenrod is is what gives you seasonal allergies but anyone can be allergic to something so I'm sure there is some people that are allergic to goldenrod you see that dripping you want all that precious oil because that right there is medicine and money you can't really see. I don't have good lighting in here, but it's a dark green color. So I'm just going to let that set there. 